today we're travelling to Cambridge University to meet um, Professor Margaret Stanley, who's the Queen Bee of HPE. So I think she's going to fill in the gaps for me about this um, vaccine and answer a load of questions I have about that. So I'm quite excited to meet her because I hear she's, she's pretty intelligent, <laughs> pretty amazing. Margaret's a fellow at Christ's College. She dedicated her life to HPV research and has even been awarded an OBE for it. Pretty impressive stuff. I suppose the first thing I want to ask is how do you get the virus and, um, and, and what it, what it what is, is it? What, what is it? Well, HPV is a little virus that lives in the skin. You've got to remember that this, the skin just doesn't cover your outside. There's a skin-like covering in your mouth, your throat, uh, your vagina, uh, the anus, that's the back passage. So this virus lives in all those places. And um, it's a virus that doesn't get into the bloodstream. It only lives in the skin. So you get it basically from sex. So if you have vaginal sex, you get it in the cervix and the vagina. If you have anal sex or at the outside of the anus, you get it in the anus. And if you have oral sex, you get it in the mouth. So oral sex isn't safe? In a word, no. No. Lots of teens, particularly, have oral sex because they won't get pregnant. I have to tell them that's the only thing they won't get. I mean, oral sex is sex, and so you get transmission of, of whatever you've got on your genitalia, OK? And that includes HPV. Interestingly, it's easier for a guy to acquire HPV from his, part, his female partner than for a woman to get HPV from a man. So if a guy is having oral sex with, his, with a girl, he's more likely to acquire HPV in his mouth than the woman is likely to acquire HPV if she's doing a blowjob on the guy. I always blame Clinton and Lewinsky. I mean, <laughs> nobody knew what oral sex was before then. I'm frankly, babes in their cradles do yeah. now. <laughs> you know, say if a guy was watching this now and he's had more than, you know, five sexual partners or performed oral sex with five or more women or men, you know, what would your advice be to him, you know, um, to not send him into a panic of, oh my God, I've got HPV? No, no, come on. First of all, it's a very common virus, you know. You and I will have had it, or you're likely to get it, I'll certainly have had it. Just about everybody acquires this virus. Nearly all of us get rid of it. But there are about, oh, one in ten people who don't manage to get rid of the virus because their immune systems, for one reason or other, can't handle it. So the likelihood is you're fine. So don't worry. As they say in Dad's Army, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> But it's, uh, there's a serious side to this because in the last couple of years there's been a lot of information come out and it shows that cancer caused by HPV in the mouth is higher than we thought and more concerningly it's going up at a very steep rate. <laughs> 